good morning. I wanted to take the opportunity this morning to address a specific company in the energy sector. Denbury Resources uh, has definitely been beat up by low energy prices. And yesterday the board announced that it was suspending its dividend in order to preserve cash, essentially. And I just kind of wanted to dig into Denbury and and figure out uh, how sustainable this business is. The problem with this company is that it is in the oil exploration discovery portion of the energy pipeline. So in order for this segment of energy to be viable, not only do energy prices need to rise, but inventory of oil needs to drop and the number of rigs that we're pulling oil from needs to increase back to pre-crash levels. Uh, Denbury Resources is much like a, uh, a typewriter company being in IT right now. So they're going to have to use their equity here to ride out this storm, their equity and their cash. And I did want to point out This company is so distressed from a trading standpoint that it is actually trading at 23% price to book value. And uh, really, I mean, that's that's, uh, essentially a distressed price. Uh, The market does not believe this company is going to survive the energy downturn uh, with that type of valuation. But I wanted to take a deeper look into whether or not this company is going to survive this downturn. And the thing I I really like to look at first is operating cash flow and free cash flow. So this is the company's operating cash flow and it remains positive despite uh, all the challenges that it's facing. Now free cash flow is I calculate that based on operating cash flow less capital expenditures. Now on the capital expenditure side, you could see that Denbury is definitely cutting back on the amount of capital it it spends uh, from about 287 billion or 287 million dollars two quarters ago to 24 million dollars. So that's a 90 percent decrease in the amount of capital. Therefore, on the free cash flow side, Denbury is actually able to maintain uh, positive free cash flow. It's going to need this in order to pay down debt and to pay interest on long-term debt. So, essentially, from this angle, Denbury is actually holding out pretty well and you could see how lower energy prices have uh, have affected this this stock right here the drop in revenue of about 50 percent on a quarterly basis these are the same charts but in a trailing 12-month format and so really we're only two to three quarters into this energy price plunge we've got two more quarters left of earnings reports before we really see a 12-month metric of lower energy prices and uh, you know again I'm I'm a little optimistic based on what I'm seeing that they are uh, that Denbury is able to maintain positive free cash flow right now on a trailing 12-month basis it's about 330 million dollars that they are able to maintain And I just wanted to take a quick look at one other aspect of this organization, and that is returns. They they are still, despite uh, this uh, energy issue, maintaining positive earnings, positive return on equity. So as long as this is going on, they're going to be able to keep their heads above the water. But the, the real question becomes how long until the company finds sustainability. 2017 is turning out to be the year people think that energy is going to rebound. That's great, but like I said before, they have other factors that they need to occur in order to become relevant in the marketplace again. 
So really only time will tell here, but this is a high risk investment if, if you were to take it. I'm not looking at that opportunity right now. I've got money in other energy plays, but I just wanted to take a look at this company and see where their sustainability was. Again, happy investing. Have a great day.